Welcome to number operations. Uh, this video is for grade 10, 11, and 12. Uh, okay. Let me start off by uh, giving you some keywords that you can look out for in the exams. So if you are adding, uh, they expect you to add, they will use words such as sum or total, subtraction, the, uh, you'll see words such as difference. To calculate the difference uh, between item, two items means that you need to subtract the two items. Uh, division, usually per, tell you to divide. Um, so if you've got 200 uh, per liter, that means that you take 200 and divide it by a liter. Or if it was 200 per 2 liter, then you take 200 and divide it by 2 liters. Okay. And for multiplication, the words off, and also sometimes they might ask you to find the product. Uh, product of two numbers means that you need to multiply those two numbers, okay? All right, now let's move on to botmus. Our botmus works very easy. Brackets go first, and then other operations such as squares, cubes, and roots are done second, and then division, D is for division, and for multiplication, A for addition, and uh, S for subtraction. Okay, so let's look at that. Um, all right, according to botmus, if you need to simplify an expression like this, you would get rid of the brackets first. So deal with the brackets before doing anything else. 12 divided by 3 is 4. All right, so we can keep everything else the same. We get rid of the brackets first. Okay. All right. And now that the brackets are gone, we go to other operations such as squares and uh, cubes and uh, roots. So uh, that's a square there and that's a root. So that would be up next. 3 squared is 9. Uh, the square root of 100 is 10. Okay, let's keep everything else the same. All right, so other operations are gone. Division, we have no division. Uh, multiplication, uh, there's multiplication there. So if we just keep everything else the same and we just multiply 6 by 2, we get 12 minus 4. And then what's next uh, would be addition. So we add 9 plus 10 is 19, and 19 plus 12 is 31 minus 4. Okay, and of course at the end we subtract. So 31 minus 4 would give us 27. Nice thing about uh, the Cassius scientific calculators is that um, it uses bondness. So if we put in uh, the original operation, which was 3 squared plus the square root of 100, all right, plus 6 times 2 minus, uh, okay, 12 divided by 3, and of course, this will give us 27. So, the calculator uses bot mass. Okay, so if you're allowed to use a calculator, you could just punch in uh, the value, uh, the expression as it is. All right. Um, number operations, you're also expected to be able to write a number in words. Okay, so let's imagine you're given this number in the test situation and the examiner is asking you to write this number in words. Okay, so this table will always help you with that. Okay. The first three um, columns are units, tens, and hundreds. The next three are thousand. The next three are millions, and the next three are billions. So if you just put the number into the table, um, um, and the table should make it easy to read this number off in words, okay? Okay, and as you can see, this number is 56 billion. 782,190,000. Okay, 190,000. And finally, 243. Okay, so once you put the number in the table, it becomes much, much easier to, to write it in words. Okay, let's move on to ratios. How would you simplify a ratio? You're also expected to simplify ratios. All right, so 
To simplify this ratio, we would look at a factor or a number that can go into both 25 and 40, and that number is 5. Okay, so we can divide 5 uh, into both 25 and into 40. What's 25 divided by 5? It's 5. And what's 40 divided by 5? It's 8. So that is how you would simplify the ratio. But then you might also be asked to simplify a ratio, this time not using a common factor, but simplify this to a unit ratio. All right, a unit is 1, so which means we want uh, the smallest side uh, to be 1. So the smallest of the two is 25. 25 is smaller than 40. So if you are simplifying to a unit ratio, then you would divide both sides by 25 because it's the smaller of the two numbers. So 25 by 25. Of course, 25 divided by 25 is 1. Um, and then 40 divided by 25. Let's check that out. 40 divided by 25 will give you a ratio of 1.6. Okay. So if you are simplifying to a unit ratio, you need to divide both numbers by the smaller of the two. Okay, let's move on. All right, uh, these are ratios of speed, distance, and time. And this is very easy. Uh, let's look at the first example. The first example, you are asked to calculate uh, distance. Of course, DST triangle will help you with that. And what we say is, uh, if you have to calculate distance, then you will be given time and speed. And if you have to calculate speed, you will be given distance and time. If you have to calculate time, then you will be given distance and speed. So for this question, you are asked to calculate distance, okay? And if you use the DST triangle, you need to just cover the D. This is the one you're looking for. So always cover the one you're looking for. And you'll find that you are left with speed multiplied by time. So to calculate our distance, we shade it because that's the one that we're looking for. And the formula that we get is to, for distance is speed multiplied by time. Okay. So speed is, uh, so it's speed multiplied by time. And speed in this case is 50 kilometers per hour. And the time is three hours. Of course, if you multiply 50 by three, that should give you 150 kilometers. That will be your distance. Of course, the hours will cancel out and you'll be left with 150 kilometers. Right? For the second example, now you have to calculate speed. And of course, you have to use the other two. So we want speed, so let's shade the speed because that's the one we want. All right, so if you want to calculate speed, then speed is distance over time, as you can see, d over t, d over t, okay? Now, what's the distance? The distance is 300 meters, and the time is 50 seconds, okay? So, 50, uh, 300 divided by 50, I think it will give us 6, but let's just uh, double check. 300 divided by... 50 gives us 6, okay? So, of course, uh, this, this will be 6 meters per second, okay? Because we were dividing meters by seconds. That's why you get meters per second, okay? Finally, uh, you might also be expected to calculate time, all right? Time, all right? And, of course, if you have to calculate time, you'll need to use... The other two, you'll need to use distance and speed. So if you're calculating time, then just shade the time. Shade the one that you're looking for. We're looking for time, so we shade it out. And we'll find that, what are we left with? Distance over speed. So to calculate time, we take distance over speed. Okay. So obviously, in this case, the distance is 250 kilometers over speed, uh, speed of 50 kilometers per hour and of course 250 divided by 50 will give you 5 
kilometers cancel. So your time is five hours. All right, those are some of the basic operations you expected to know for exams, all right? Uh, please uh, don't forget to subscribe and like this video if you haven't done so already.